Hey, this is Getting Real with Hillary, and today is my birthday! So, I have a little story to tell you. First of all, I'm blocking my sign. It says, Faith. <sighs> That's pretty. Faith, right? I also got another sign. Um, have courage and be kind. That's another one of my signs. One says, hello, sunshine. And the other one I'll save for a special day. So, today is my birthday. And historically, my birthday, um, let's just say it never, it never met my expectations. And I was always upset. <laughs> I mean, I had fun, but there was like this underlying sadness okay so this week i'm in the um be here now seminar and i've also been using this technique to see okay when i'm upset let's let's look and see where where did i first like what does it remind me of so yesterday a friend of mine said he was coming over and then um he didn't know if he could. And that was for today. And I was like, <gasps> so I just allowed myself to be disappointed. Okay. He didn't even say he wasn't. He just said he might not be able to. So I was like, <gasps> but it's my birthday, you know? And I just allowed myself to be very disappointed. I allowed it. And I was like, <sighs> and I, and I like, I, I'm not doing it now. I'm laughing, but at the time I just allowed myself to be so sad and it brought me back to, I don't know, it was sometime before the age of seven because that's when we moved out of that house that it was my birthday. So I was one of five kids. I was the second girl. I didn't ask for much, but on my birthday, that was my day, you know, and that was my day. So here we go. Maybe I was three. I don't know. Maybe who knows? Maybe four or five, some, some age, some young age. And it was my birthday. And my mother comes up to me and I don't know if I was in bed or on my bed, but I remember her saying she was going out with my dad. And I was like, but it's my birthday. That's what I thought. I, I don't know if I said anything, but in my mind, it was like, but it's my birthday. And I decided I wasn't important. Now, I have lived, so when I feel not important, I get upset. And it can be, it can be triggered by anything, right? So, so I don't know if I told this story, but one of my friends had to do something. He had to go, he had to go <laughs> vacuum instead of meeting me like we were like I thought we were well I didn't think we were I, I wanted to but he had to go vacuum and I was like I'm like now I'm competing with a vacuum and the vacuum is winning and I'm like I can't believe this I pictured him like you know instead of hanging out with me hanging out with the vacuum and now I I'm so not important so it's like all these things triggered that incident right and, and I can laugh about it now, but as at the time I, I realized, okay, I made up that I wasn't important. Now looking at it rationally, I'm a, I'm a grown up. I'm 61. <laughs> I started these videos when I was 60. That was like a big deal. Now I'm 61. So this is for all the people who I digress, all the women who think they're over the hill. No. We are coming into our own baby. We are real. We are creating our lives. So the, the, it's just a number. Okay, back to my story. So when I looked at the little story of my little poor girl who was so upset, today I was walking with my son on the beach. He, he walked with me. We had this wonderful, wonderful walk into like this deserted area where I finally realized uh, like it's not very smart to go there by myself in the morning when no one's out. You know, if anyone's lurking, I'm in trouble. So he came with me. We had this great talk and I was telling him about the story and I was like, you know, like I might've even been in bed. Like, what did I think we were going to do on my birthday? Like, wh why shouldn't they go out? It, it, I can see now that it didn't mean I wasn't important. And I was like, wow. And that whole, 
the whole, like I've always had like this heaviness and this sadness on my birthday. And when I've been able to just go back and look and say, wow, that doesn't even make sense. So let's reinterpret the incident that my, my new favorite, I was an adorable little child, well loved, loving and trusting. And isn't that a new world to live in instead of unimportant? And you know what? When, you ha when you've made a decision like that, at least for me, when I made a decision like that, all I do is gather evidence. So I've been gathering evidence for why I'm not important. Not even important as a freaking vacuum. I see my little purple vacuum over here and I'm like, me or this, right? But that's what we do. We make a decision and we gather evidence to support the fact and then we're right. And then we don't really live a really fun life. <laughs> Being unimportant is not a fun life. So here's to my birthday. I even went, I'm going to, true confessions, I went to Athleta, bought myself some clothes. That's my favorite store. They were open. All I had to do was wear a mask. And then because the bathrooms were, they, they wouldn't let me use the bathroom there. I went and got gas, couldn't use the bathroom there. Then by the time I'm ready to explode, I went to Dunkin' Donuts and I said, you know what? Haven't had lunch. I got my favorite ice cream cone, pralines and cream and a sugar cone at Dunkin' Donuts with a cup of coffee. And I treated myself because I'm important now. <laughs> it seems a little silly. That's a word I can use. That's a safe word, silly, but it's true. So I am now, instead of unimportant, adorable, lovable, loving, and trusting. And that's a new world. So Welcome to my new world of 61. The Plains and Cream was delicious. It's my favorite ice cream ever. I can't believe it's still around after all these years. It's the best. So, and I allowed it and it was fun. So join me. Let's create great lives. This is getting real. If you want to create magic for yourself and free yourself from some of these limiting beliefs that you don't even know are there, call me. Click on the, on the lamp on the website and summon the Planning Genie because it's fun. So thank you. Happy birthday to me. I'll see you soon.